Get ready for the best World Cup of all time. What's up guys, Terry F Gaming here and a different video today. We will be taking a classic national team to the World Cup title. We're gonna put together the best 16 teams of all time and not individual years. I mean classic teams, meaning the best 23 man squads for the best national teams of all time. Talking classic Argentina, Brazil, France, England, Spain, Italy, etc, etc. We will be using one of the two teams in the background and we will be using England! Yes, David Beckham, my favorite player growing up. So we're going to play with classic England. We're putting together the best 16 teams ever. This option file was made by Pez Universe. I did a video on it at the beginning of Pez 2021, just when everything got released. They have option files that they released. You can pay for the subscription and they're really great. They're incredible. They put so much work into it. Let's have a look at the 16 teams that will be in this tournament. Let's do the draw and let's get through the group stage in this episode. If we get through the group stage in this episode, tomorrow I'll be uploading the rest of the tournament. But let's look at the 16 teams that will be in this World Cup. All right, so we're gonna quickly go through the teams here. Classic Argentina, Riquelme, Maradona, Messi, Gabriel Batistuta, Veron, Brazil, Ronaldinho, Pele, Ronaldo, Roberto, Carlos, Cafu, Kaká, Rivaldo, Pele, Pele and Ronaldo up top, that's insane. Colombia, Carlos Valderrama, of course, with the crazy here from back of the day. Radamel Falcao, James Rodriguez this year, Mario Yepes. I'm seeing Juan Pablo and Hell. Uruguay, we have Enzo Francescoli, Luis Suarez, Diego Forlan, Edison Cavani. Wow, that's a lot of good talent. Diego Godin in the back. Remember, prime years for all these guys. So they're going to be insane. Alvaro Ricoba here as well. Denmark, we got the Lodger brothers, Brian and Michael Lodger. Thomas Graveson, still here. Funny enough, Nicholas Bentner, Lord Bentner, Yondal Thomason, remember him? Christian Eriksson, Dennis Romedal. Wow, that's a name from the past. Even Thomas Helweg and Daniel Agger. Peter Schmeichel in goal, of course. Classic England, John Terry, Bobby Moore, Gary Neville, Ashikul, Gascoigne, Gerard Beckham, John Barnes, Lickner, Alan Scherer, Wayne Rooney on the bench, Scholes, Lampard, Bobby Charlton. It would be fun to play with this team. France, of course, Ari, Zidane, Patrick Vieira, Lillian Tura, Marcel Desailly. Fabian Barthez, Nicolas Anelka, David Trezeguet, Eric Cantona, Germany, Lothar Matthias, Michael Ballack, Bastian Schweinsteiger, Gerd Müller, Thomas Müller, Miroslav Klose, Jürgen Klinsmann, Philipp Lam, Franz Beckenbauer, Oliver Kahn, Italy, Paolo Maldini, and look at that defense. Look at this defense. Baresi, Nesta, Cannavaro, Maldini. Good luck scoring on this team. The Rossi and Pirlo in midfield with Totti, Del Piero, Roberto Baggio, Kristen Vieri, Giuseppe Miazza, Gianfranco Zola, Pipo Inzaghi is here. Incredible, incredible side. Netherlands, Seedorf, Reichardt, Edgar Davids, Ruud Gullit, Jap Stam, Ronald Koeman, Marco van Basten, Johan Cruyff, Dennis Bergkamp, Ruud van Nistelrooy, Robin van Persie, Robin Overmars, another really fun side. Ireland, here's Sweden, Freddie Jungberg, Hendrik Larsson, Zlatan Ibrahimovic, Kim Karlström, really fun players here. Portugal, really, really a dark horse contender. Cristiano Ronaldo, Luis Figo, Deco, Manuel Rui Costa, and Eusebio has got to be the best five potentially in this entire tournament. Ricardo Quaresma on the bench. Nuno Gomez as well. Turkey have a really good team. Yildirai Bastor, Umid Davala, Emre Bello Zoglu, Tugay, who I believe used to play for Blackburn. Yeah, we have a prime Arda Turan on the bench as well. Hakan Sukur up top. It's a really fun team. Spain, of course. Pep Guardiola, Xavi, Iniesta, Xavi Alonso, David Villa, Raul. Keska Mendieta, Michel Sagado, Carlos Puyol, Fernando Hierro. Great side here. Fernando Torres on the bench. Alfredo Di Stefano as well. And Cameroon, Roger Miller, Samuel Eto, Patrick Mbama, Jeremy, Matip in the back, Rodrigo Bear Song, Eric Jemba Jemba, Mark Vivian Foe. Rest in peace. Rest in peace to Mark Vivian Foe. Passed away on the field in uh, 2003. I think it was the Confederations Cup. Kameni on the bench as well. We should have a couple more African teams in here. We only have Cameroon. I think the other option file has Nigeria. I'd love to do a full World Cup with 32 teams. So I'd have to get the Asian teams in as well. Love to play with like an all-time Japan team. But hopefully someone creates that. We even have a classic Uruguay. Obviously, we know Uruguay disbanded as a country, I believe, after 2000, around the year 2000. I know Euro 2000 was the last tournament with Yugoslavia. They were incredible that time around. But 
Look at what we get when we combine them again. We get Nemanja Vidic, who's from Serbia, and we get Luka Modric, who's from Croatia. We have Zomniviu Boban, we have Rakitic, we have Davos Suker up top. We actually met in real life, which is crazy. Good Yugoslavia side, let's get into this tournament. All right, here are the groups. Argentina, France, Portugal, Cameroon. Wow. No joke there in that group. Things are gonna be pretty crazy. Group B, Uruguay, Spain, Turkey, and Holland. A bit easier, but Uruguay, Spain, and Holland. Gonna be some crazy matchups there. Brazil, Italy, Sweden, Yugoslavia. I think Yugoslavia could be surprisingly good in this group. We'll see. And then Group D, our group, Colombia, Germany, England, and Denmark. Let's go. Get the World Cup started. All right, and first off, we take on Denmark. We should be able to take care of business. All right, so this is our lineup. Bobby Moore, John Terry, Gary Neville, Ashley Cole, Peter Shilton in goal. Steven Gerrard and Frank Lampard in midfield. Yes, we know it never works. We're going to try it again. Paul Scholes on the left. Remember, Paul Scholes retired after Euro 2004. He retired, I think, at 29 from England. And, you know, he was played out of position on the left. He should have been played in the middle. They should have sacrificed one of Lampard and Gerrard. But I digress. David Beckham on the right. Wayne Rooney right behind Michael Owen. This is the Euro 2004 England that were so impressive before getting knocked out by Portugal. Saul Campbell, if you remember, scored in extra time. It was waved off. David Beckham missed the penalty in the penalty shootout. And Portugal got to the finals that year before they lost to Greece. Regardless, let's go take on Denmark. Michael Laudrup, of course, is going to be their main man. But good players all across the team. Peter Schmeichel in goal. England, Denmark. First game of the all-time World Cup. Peter Schmeichel in goal. What a match this is going to be. Let's see how we do. Let's see how we fare. This is a big one. And here we go. The all-time World Cup is underway. Tricky and interesting first matchup here for England against Denmark. Not the strongest opponent, but every team here is strong. And Denmark are sure to show that early. Ball comes in. Oh, and a strike. And it's 1-0. Well, we speak too soon, and Efger makes it 1-0 to Denmark. Well, that is an absolutely poor start. England living up to their classic tournament status here. It's actually cool. Skulls. And, oh, it's just wide from Michael Owen. And they move again. Larry Simonsen. Efger again. Peter Shelton, good stop. Gerard gets it over to Beckham. Touches it inside for Lampard. Wayne Rooney. David Beckham. Whipped in. Well, across. Oh, wow. It will be a throw in here. And in his face. Oh, that's a brilliant. Great defending. Oh, just clear by John Terry and his foul. Well, this is classic John Terry here. Just getting it away. We'll go start right after. Ah, oh, good football. Beckham having a chase back here. Been defending for Beckham. John Terry. Oh. Was in. Oh, poor stop. Shelton. Oh, it's 2 0 Denmark. And it's F. Jerry again. Good job there from Beckham. Maybe something before the half. Rudy. Yes, here's Michael Owen. We know what kind of pace he has. Michael Owen in. Beckham. Oh, tipped over the bar. Corner kick. Bend it like Beckham, maybe. It is good cross. Peter Schmeichel's there. Beckham back in with the left foot. This time, Rudy. There it is. 2 1. Get the ball, Wayne. Get the ball, Waza. England back in it right before the half. Beckham's cross. Schmeichel. Clears, Beckham gets it in with the left foot this time, and Rooney rises well and buries it. Played in. Oh my god, no, 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 wait. It's not a trap. Oh no! Oh my god. Just fine. It's tripped on. Only as far as Gerard. Scholes, Lampard. Good touch inside. Wayne Rooney. David Beckham! Peter Schmeichel could save. Bit too far for Mr. Beckham. But Lampard? Ah, okay. Lampard, that's it. Your game today is going just as well as your Chelsea managerial career. Oh! Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, Frank. I'm sorry, Frank. Not today. Not today, Frank. We're bringing on Bobby Charlton. All right, here we go. Bobby Charlton. 
And John Barnes coming on. Oh, Rooney. And he finds Beckham. Beckham trying to pull away. Here's Michael Owen. Beckham eyes Owen. Beckham him sit in. Michael Owen. Oh, he's falling deflected. And it's cleared by Daniel Agar. Gary Neville can't get the head in. And it's cleared. Paid wide. And paid in. And again. So much space. John Terry caught in two minds. Oh, Terry in the way. Uh, oh, Denmark just getting it through. And uh, they had a good spot here. It's pretty back. He's on a hat trick. Three, one, Denmark. Epcher. Here. Rudy actually does fall to Beckham. Beckham, oh great! Oh my God, Gerard, Stevie G, what a cross from Beckham! It is pinpoint accurate, and Steven Gerard in a really poor header here. That sums it up. Rooney Beckham Oh, Owen uh, Oh, Wayne Rooney Wayne, 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 no And 3-1 Denmark, a hatchet from El Chair Wayne Rooney with the sole goal for England As he was 3-1 in the first match Well, that was quite poor indeed Germany and Colombia tie Portugal and Argentina in Group A Uruguay, Turkey after the 1-1 tie. Spain losing to Uruguay 2-0 in the first match. Yugoslavia and Brazil in Group C. Italy tied with Brazil in the first game. And there we are, bottom of Group D. We need to win our next match. Hopefully it's not Germany. And it's Colombia, thank God. All right, so some changes for today. Gasco and Bobby Charlton in midfield. Gerard on the left, Beckham on the right. Wayne Rooney and Alan Shearer comes in. Bobby Moore, John Terry, Gary Neville, Ashley Cole, and Gordon Banks in for Peter Shilton. Let's take on Colombia, Faustino Asperilla. James Rodriguez, Radamel Falcao. All right, here we go. England, Colombia. It reminds me of the 98 World Cup where Beckham scored a free kick in the group stage a couple of games before he got the red card against Simeone. This should be a really fun one. England, Colombia, however, we need to win. After losing 3-1 to Denmark, things looking tricky for us. Beckham, left foot across this time, it's cleared. And Bobby Charlton! Ooh! Higuita, good save. Oh, well clear. Gascoigne! Wayne Rooney! Oh, I tried to chip Higuita. Bacau, Aspirilla. Ah, oh, it's in the space. And Banks. Oh, Bobby Charlton, not the place to dribble with the ball. Bobby Charlton, poor giveaway, and it's 1-0, Colombia. It is Estrada, and England are heading out. Terry, oh, there's Gaza. Wayne Rooney, Wayne Rooney, ah, oh, stopped. Rooney, chasing. We'll get there. Oh, wow. That's... Uh, and Falcao. Gerard. Steven Gerard. Alan Shearer! Alan Shearer! There it is. It's 1-1. One, one. Look at Gerard fighting in midfield there. Gets forward. Plays it in the space. Shearer just needs an inch of space to finish. And look at that finish. That's a great ball. Falcao! Oh my word, it's 2-1 Colombia. And Radamel Falcao with an incredible strike. Look at this one more time. Estrada gets it in. Actually, it's Hamas. Gets it into... Look at this from Falcao. Chips it up to himself. Like, are we in 2003 for Arsenal? Chips it up to himself and finishes brilliantly outside of the foot pass of Hamas. 
And Falcao just needs a second to put it away. It's forward. It's Falcao. It's Aspirilla. It's John Terry. Beckham. Oh, he's taken out. Referee says advantage. Rooney. Oh, great move by Gerard. Inside. Bobby Johnson. It's tied. It's 2 2. Bobby Charlton, England back in it. Good stuff here. Steven Gerrard on the left. He's having himself a day. Cuts inside, pays it back in. Charlton with the finish. Milano. Oh, oh, oh. Hammers. No one's shutting down Hammers. Oh, Jiggins. He splits it in. Oh, get ahead of him. Hammers knocks it back. No, no. It's right before the half. Come on. Come on. Come on, guys. Get stuck in. It's up the line. Steven Gerrard giving chase. Estrada. Gerard! Look at Stevie G! Steven Gerard has been incredible today. He still has it here. And he actually just plays it out. It could have been something incredible there too. Looks like it's gonna be that half time 2-2 with -two, a half. And uh oh. Good touch! No! Fuck out! Pitsy! Pitsy, get it out! Oh, going next. Now it's Beckham. Oh, Beckham floats it in. Cher is in there. He can't hit it, but it's going to fall to Ashley Cole. It's over the bar. Beckham. Oh, Beckham's inside. Beckham still has it. Beckham, oh, he's taken out. And it is a free kick. And a booking here. Well, a David Beckham free kick against Columbia. You cannot write this stuff. Beckham! David Beckham! It's still to England. Bex does it. Bend it like Beckham. I think they have the lead. Well, no one's stopping that. <laughs> oh, no one's stopping that. The keeper couldn't even move. The swerve on it is too much. We've seen it many times before. David Beckham again. Classic free kick here for England. Touched in. Ashley Cole. And Sharer. And Sharon is really well. It's with Bobby Charlton. Gets it right into Beckham. Oh, Beckham doesn't usually have the pace, but he has the heart. Can't get it in. Is he going to stay on his feet? He's been defending. Valderrama. Oh, take a touch. Cross in, header. Woo, Gordon Banks. Valderrama clears it. And Jay Gerard. There is Stevie G and Rooney. Whoa, Wayne Rooney. It's Alan Shearer. And if anyone's going to finish, it's Alan Shearer. It's 4 2. Look at Rooney just spots the run of Shearer. The defender completely misreads it. Alan Shearer gets in, and the Newcastle legend finishes well. Midfield mix up here, but Valderrama has it. And that is a ball and a half from Carlos Valderrama. Oh, wow. It's 4-3. Falcao. That could be a crucial goal too. Second for him. I'm going to drop Wayne Rooney here late. And we're going to bring on another center back. And that man is going to be Rio Ferdinand. Beckham's going to drop in the right back for Gary Neville actually. We're going to bring on... It's going to Michael Owen. Maybe we can stretch them a bit. Or Charlton, Gaza, and Gerard. Michael Owen and Alan Shearer up top. And no! Oh my word, it should have been 4-4. Bobby Charlton is taken out. But it goes to Steven Gerrard, I don't want to stop. Almost make a mess of that, but there it is, England. 4-3 winners here in a shootout against Colombia. And let's look around. Group A, Argentina and France, Portugal in trouble. But it's only goal difference. Group B, Uruguay. Surprising everyone, they're going to be going through Spain and Holland fighting for second place. Brazil and Italy in Group 3, but Yugoslavia making things interesting. In Group 4, it's Denmark in first place, which means our matchup with Germany determines who qualifies. Gascoigne on poor form, so Scholes comes in. Steven Gerrard stays on the left, and Bobby Charlton and Paul Scholes in the middle. Thomas and Gerd Müller up top, Matthias, Bach, Schweinsteiger, Beckenbauer, oh my god, Philip Lamb, Oliver Kahn. Ah, here we go. Final group stage match. Big implications here for Germany and England. We're here at the Olympic Stadium 
England, can they pull off a famous result here? Denmark, surprising leaders of the group, and the two giants here both needing a result if they want to have a chance to qualify from the group. Let's get this one underway. Oh! Oliver Kahn makes a mess, almost makes a, oh, he does make a mess of that. Rooney! Steven Gerrard! Steven G! Oh, Kahn is there. England called a chance. And it's cleared. Going into Beckham, he turns, he crosses it, it's a great cross! Beckham Bauer, France Beckham Bauer there. It's coming back again, however, and another cross whipped in. The time is cleared, Gary Neville that time, and Schweinsteiger clears. And Germany escape, and Müller. It's clear. It is actually cool. Oh, actually cool, that's a mistake. Germany coming forward in numbers. Bobby Moore, good tackle, and no one there. Sticks on. Into space. Good Miller. Ooh. Gerard. Steven Gerard. And Strange Tiger. They try it again, but it it it's a oh no no no. That shit it's against Germany. Thank you. Brightner. Look at the pressure from England. Defending as a team. And playing oh Beckenbauer cuts out the ball to Rooney. Been a pretty crazy match so far. It's on the wing now. Thomas Müller again, moving everywhere. And now it's good, Müller. And oh, what a save by Banks, but Germany getting in off the rebound. And it's Muller, and it's 1 0 Germany. Actually, cool. Close goals, touched inside. Bobby Charlton. Scores. Not on the same page as Beckham. And. That leads to a break for Germany. It's Gerd Müller. And Bobby Moore has so much to do. It's Thomas Müller now. And oh my god, what is it by Gordon Banks? Takes it short. And John Terry. John Terry. And he's running with it. Counter attack here. Terry's going. Wayne Rooney, get out of my way. John Terry's going all the way. John Terry into Wayne Rooney. Oh, no angle. Khan tips it away. And Beckham deliver up a special. It's in. A lot of players inside Bobby Moore. What a save, Oliver Khan. Beckham back in again. Deflected another corner. And Beckham has it again. And loops it again. Rooney. Yes. 1-1. One, one. Wayne Rooney. David Beckham with an incredible corner. Rooney's in there. And England have tied it up. Why is he, why is he shining Bobby Moore's shoe? <laughs> Beckham here, look at this. Perfection. Rooney. One run. Beckham, oh, he's taken out. Nope, touch inside. Strike! Oh, it's right. Here's Beckham again. Gerard. Ashley Cole. Oh, excellent football from England. Cole, but did it. Beckham's in the side for a header. How rare is that? And it will finish 1 1 at the half. Along the line here, Wayne Rooney with the equalizer. Oh. Oh! That was dangerous. Good turns. Rooney flicks it on well. And Alan Scherer, can we really get there? No, Mateus. Still now. Oh my God, England a mess. England a mess. Oh my God, Gordon Banks is keeping England in this tournament. Ashley Cole just clears it out. England, how will they survive the next almost 30 minutes the way they're playing right now? Germany again. Oh, it's, it's too easy. Oh, it's affected! Gerd Müller! Oh, my God. You've got to be kidding me. It's 2-1 Germany. Ah, now England chasing again. Kevin Keegan on for Wayne Rooney. Oh, my God. No, no, no. Oh, my God. Gordon, thank you. Oh, oh, Gordon Max! No, not again. Gordon Max! Oh, my God. England barely surviving here. 
Germany have just been all over them in the second half. Skulls. Beckham is tired. I'd love to leave Beckham on. I'd love to leave him on, but he's tired. I'm going to put Kevin Keegan on the right. And we're going to bring in Michael Owen and John Barnes for Steven Gerrard. Yeah. Mole. Oh my God, Gordon Banks. I didn't even know players could shoot from there. Oh my God, that's a great, that's good. Oh, it should've been a goal. That should've been a goal. Barnes with today header! Oh, Leverkusen! Again! Both keepers have been fantastic. Skulls fits it on. Great ball inside, Barnes. Bobby Charlton! Oh my God, it's straight out of the con. Bobby Charlton. England just hanging on here. Bobby Charlton takes it all the way. Bobby can load across his too close to all of the con. And he throws it out and... Ooh, Kevin Keegan picks it up. And just does all he can to get it up. Then through, jump runs! Jump runs! Yes! 2-2! John Barnes at the death. That could be enough. That could be enough. John Barnes. <laughs> and England might just go through. Oh my God. Kevin Keegan here. Gets it over to Sherry. Back is it. Finds Bobby Moe's push forward. And look at that finish from John Barnes. Yes, John Barnes in the way. Skulls can't get rid of it. And. Oh, no, 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 no. Nope, nope. Not like this. Not like this. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Germany 3, England 2, Gerd Müller. And there it is. Oh my, you, how does this happen? How does this happen? Skulls going long, John Barnes. Looks to head in, and he can. Oh, oh, what's going on? No way! Oh, are you serious? Are you serious? Germany 3, England 2, and we're knocked out. We could have spurted the death. And England's World Cup failures continue, even in a classic setting. Guys, if you enjoy this tournament, let me know. I will do another one with another team for sure. This was crazy exciting. Just very disappointed we couldn't get to the knockout rounds. Let's just see what happened. Denmark with five points in the end. And Germany going through. Argentina and France in Group A. Portugal knocked out. Uruguay and Spain in Group B. Italy and Yugoslavia. Brazil. Classic Brazil knocked out. That's Pele, Ronaldinho, Ronaldo, you name it. And Denmark and Germany. Let's see who won the tournament in the end. And the winner was Germany. Okay, so we did lose to the winners. Let's see what happened in the quarterfinals. Italy 2-0 over Yugoslavia, Argentina and Spain 1-1. Uruguay won, Germany 4. Denmark beating France 1-0. Then Germany beat Denmark 3-1 in the semis. Whereas Italy were able to get past Argentina 4-0. And you get the final there. Italy, nil. Germany, three. And then third place, Argentina won 1-1. One, one, maybe after penalty kicks, I guess, in third place playoffs. Let's just check the goal scoring, actually. And Messi leaves everyone with four goals at the top. Schiaffino. I have no idea who that is, actually. He has four goals. Ronaldinho with three. Totti with three. Del Piero with three. And Andrade with three assists. Schweinsteiger, Beckham had two of his own. Gerard has two as well. Beckham and Gerard had good tournaments. All right, guys, so that is it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Drop a comment below. Let me know your thoughts on this series. If you want to see with other teams, any other fun classic things you may want to see. So let me know what you guys think if you enjoyed it, and I'll keep them coming. Thanks for all the support, guys. Take care. Stay safe. And I'll see you guys next time.